Okay, y'all, so some news for you, right? And actor William Hurt, he actually passed away. That was reported today. Um, he was a star of Broadcast News, Body Heat, and Big Chill. But um, we, like the younger generation, would know him more for playing General Thaddeus Ross in um, The Incredible Hulk. And he later surprised that role in Captain America, Civil War, and Avengers Infinity War, and Avengers Endgame, and Black Widow. So um, he was in a lot of different movies, a lot of different films. He had, you know, his moments in plays and so forth in theater. And um, he passed away at 71. Hopefully we don't lose any more individuals this year, guys. Like, I really hope so. Um, okay. Now moving forward to something completely different. Wendy Williams ex-husband Kevin Hunter he decided to file a lawsuit against Denbar and Mercury so if you guys don't know in 2019 right Wendy Williams filed for divorce it was sometime I believe in August 2019 a week after she filed for divorce um Kevin Hunter was also fired so I think really and truly what happened but he never filed a suit back then he didn't file a suit back then I think in his mind right um or in their agreement he would still like earn money he probably also thought that Wendy would still give him an in and he'll be able to get some money from that and so when she was still employed because she still had her show he felt maybe okay so during the divorce proceedings she was still employed he would still be able to get a lot more coins from her for spousal support if that's something that they were going to you know decide upon or they had as a term or contract um, in a prenup or anything of the sort I don't know but it's just weird that all of a sudden now he is suing but he sued because he said that they unjustly fired him due to his marital status and yeah looking at it you could say that that's what happened like she literally fired him the um the exec at the time fired him after Wendy filed for, you know, um, a divorce. So, yes, I can understand where he's coming from. But I think Kevin Hunter is just looking for a way to make money, honey, because nobody really wants to touch him right now because of all the drama that surrounded him and Wendy. So I think that's what it is. Um, also, shout out to Sherry Shepard. She's getting her show in June. Wendy's show is being canceled. Also, it's rumored that Nick Cannon's show is being canceled as well well as the real so a lot of people possibly gonna be out of work guys and we gotta really check in see what's going on also okay candy from real houses of atlanta she's getting her spin-off show right which is um going to be called i believe candy and the gang which is going to be centered around her family and the restaurant that they have which is the og restaurant um and I am interested to see what the dynamic is because all along Mama Joyce, which is Candy's mother, she hated Todd. So it's interesting now for me to see what that looks like all these years later. And are they going to be able to get along? Also, people are still up in arms about Rihanna and Paris Fashion Week. They said she wore something that was too revealing. I agree. Here is the picture. What do y'all think? Okay, I'm so in agreement with that. I think she could have done it in a different way. Um, the the G string that was just way overboard. So yeah, I can't I can't get down with that. And you know I love Riri, and usually she pulls off styles that nobody else could pull off, but this was an unpulloffable style. Because anyways. Um, Lizzo. Lizzo has a show that's now Watch Out for the Big Girls. And I am just like interested to see how this all unfolds. If you remember like back in, I think it's 2019, Lizzo was going on tour and she wanted some plus size dancers and she couldn't find anybody. So she started like this hashtag, um, started this contest where people would, you know, on Instagram post their videos, hashtagging her to say, you know, okay, this is how I dance to such and such rated. And she found some people, but now like years later, just so crazy, she's having Having a show that's a TV show that is actually formally produced for that purpose 
And I'm interested to see what happens. I think it's going to be fun. I think it's going to be entertaining. And yes, I want to see my big girls represent. So yeah, that's what's up. And now Lady Gaga. Lady Gaga will be a presenter at the Oscars, even though she was not nominated for her role in the House of Gucci, which I think she totally deserved to be because she did an amazing job. I forgot that it was Lady Gaga acting. Um, It was just it's phenomenal. I loved her in the House of Gucci. Like the film, you know, if I had to rate the film, the film would probably be like a seven. But her performance was like more like a nine. So I really feel like she got snubbed for that. Um, and it's just weird that they would ask her to present. But I mean, seriously, like, come on now. Like she did her thing. And Lady Gaga, I must say is, you know, she has had success in getting into character. She's acted in certain other stuff too, but she's always been able to get herself out of the Lady Gaga persona and place herself in the characters that she's emanating. And I think that's really, really um, dope of a skill to have because not a lot of people can do that. And I won't name names, but we all know some really super big stars who tried acting one or two times only, and it didn't go so very well, okay? But um, I love that she's able to do that. I can't wait to see her work um, even more. So yeah, guys, that's it for this time around. I hope you guys liked it. Just please like and subscribe. Toodles, bye.